Hi, I'm selling my 2020 Jayco 29.5 B-Hawk. Um, basically, my wife and I are downsizing because we have one child that's in college and one going to college, so we need to get something small. This trailer is 36 feet. It has an outdoor kitchen with a fridge, a pretty good sized fridge. Of course, all the stickers you see, I will remove those once it's sold, obviously. Uh, um, so some of our destinations. Um, it has auto leveling system here. Um, it has a good outdoor storage, a pass-through storage here. Um, this is actually for, it could be for an additional propane tank, but I use it for just um, random storage for small things, table costs. And then the front, of course, is, is pre-wired for a generator if you wanted to go more off-grid. I just use it for some basic storage. Um, on the other side of the camper, of course, the dual propanes like you'd expect. It has the Nautilus system in there for winterization. I just winterized it yesterday as we're putting in storage. And as you can see, it's wet because I just washed it for the for the, for the the storage for the summer. It's got two slides, one in the front bedroom. When we go inside, you'll see that. And then one, you know, down most of the side. So let's go back inside. It's got the nice, um, nice staircase built in that folds inside the camper. Very nice. So we go inside and, and there's a couple unique things about this travel trailer that most don't have. I actually upgraded to the party seating. So of course there's tables that go in front of both of these. And so as we had older kids, they didn't, we didn't care to sit in the dinette as much. And it's more important that you could all sit on a couch and watch TV. So that was a big upgrade for us. They don't offer that anymore. We also have the big double fridge here, which is really nice if you have a lot of kids. So that's beautiful. And then the other thing about this one is it has four bunks. We like that because my two daughters would each bring a friend and then we could have, we could have four of them in here easy. And of course it has a TV in there too. This also goes out to a, a queen size bed. So right there alone you have six plus the bedroom in front. You have eight comfortably here. Um, obviously microwave stole pretty obvious. Um, another TV, this rig has three TVs, one in the outdoor kitchen, two inside, one in the bunkhouse, one in the main room. And of course you could put one in the master bedroom. We never did that because three is enough. Um, of course a very large size shower. I'm about 5'10", you can see it's winter. Right? Um, I'm about 5'10", and 170 pounds, and it fits me pretty easily. Of course there, everything. Um, storage in here. Let me flip on the light here course um, of course a fan here all the light lighting in there um, so the tables are underneath here tables are here with the legs and then of course we have some tinfoil I cut for all the windows in this rig when we were camping down down south when it was over 105 110 degrees we put the we put those on all the windows and it really aids in the coolness of course, storage, you know, more storage here and here and, and up above. Um, you know, everything works, all the lights work. We have, there's pretty much zero issues with this camper right now. It has two air conditioners. So this is for the air conditioner in front of the, in front of the bedroom. So it's a dual air condition. Pretty much every option you could have, we put in this camper. So if you look back in the 2020 Jayhawk B-Hawk, we have, if it has an option, we have it except for probably the generator is the only thing we don't have. Um, of course, sink here. So I, th I think that's everything. You know, and you know, uh, it's pretty much what you'd expect. And yeah. So if you have any questions, please uh, see the contact information and give me a call. Thank you.